Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about systems of two equations, and we're going to solve each system by elimination. So, if I was given this one, this is a tricky one, negative 24 minus 8x equals a 12y, and then I have 1 plus 5 ninths y equals a negative 7 eighteenths x. Well, first thing I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to multiply the second equation by uh, 18. And the reason why I'm doing that is right from the beginning is I see a, something with a fraction, something without a fraction, and I find it easier to deal with everything without fractions, and that's my personal preference here. So I'm going to multiply 18 across, and the reason why I did that, that was the largest denominator here, and this one, really, 18 and the 9 cancel out, give me just a 2. That seems pretty easy to do. So we have a negative 24 minus 8x equals 12y. And then we have 18 multiplied across. 18 times 1 is 18. Plus, well, 18 times the 9, or divided by the 9, gives me a 2. 2 times 5 is 10, so we have 10y here. And then 18, 18 eliminates, we just have a negative 7x right there. Well, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to rewrite this, rewrite this, okay, one more time, rewrite it to have um, all the variables on the same side. So I'm going to leave the numbers on the left-hand side and just kind of really add the 8x and subtract the 10y. So in the numerator, we have a negative 24 still. And that's going to be equal to a positive 8x plus 12y. And the denominator, just leave the 18 there, but I'm going to subtract the 10y on both sides, leaving me with a negative 7x uh, minus 10. So now this becomes a, uh, a little tricky, a little tricky here. We have negative 24 equals 8x plus 12y, and 18 times a negative 7x minus 10y. And so really what we want to do now is how can we get, how can we get all of this, all of them, to be, have the same, to essentially eliminate one of the variables. What can I multiply one by the other to have really the same variable? And uh, there's a few ways to go about it. I, um, uh, what I'm going to do, actually, because uh, I'm just going to try it this way, is I'm going to multiply the whole. So what you can do, if I want to eliminate, let's say, the y, I'm going to multiply the whole numerator by the coefficient in front of the y. So in this case, I'm going to multiply it by 10. I'm just going to really pick a positive 10, because there's a negative down here. And if you the whole thing multiply by a positive 12 in the denominator, what that's going to do is, 12 times 10 is the same thing as 10 times 12. But this one's going to be negative, and so when I multiply it all out, it's going to eliminate that variable. So let's kind of rewrite that right here. Okay, and let's go multiply that out. It should be pretty easy to do with the 10. So we have negative 240 equals 80x plus 120y. And the denominator, I don't have these memorized, so 18 times 12 is 216, so we have a positive 216 right here, equals negative 7 times 12, which is a negative 84. That's x plus, or minus in sense here, minus 120y. And what that allows me to do now is I can eliminate these two, top to bottom. Okay. Negative 240 and positive 216, uh, because I don't feel like doing that in my head, negative 240 plus 216, is a negative 24. I should be able to do that in my head quickly, but oh well. Okay. Uh, 80x plus, uh, minus 84x is a minus 4x, and like it should have happened, 120 and a negative 120 is a zero. So we have plus zero right here. After that, I have to divide by a negative 4 to both sides, and that leaves me with the x by itself here on the right, and tw negative 24 divided by a negative 4 is a positive 6. So we have x to equal 6, go right that as x first. So now, pretty easy, we just need to substitute that back in to our, uh, one of our equations. And personally, I'm going to pick the first equation. Well, be easier there. Okay. So let's go with that. We have our first equation. I'm going to rewrite right here. Uh, negative 24 minus 8x equals 12y. And we're going to try to solve for y. So I'm going to plug uh, 6 in for x right there, 6 in for x. Okay, so we have a negative 24, okay, 
minus 8 times 6 equals 12y. 8 times 6 is that uh, 48, so we have negative 24 minus 48 equals 12y. Okay, so now we combine negative 24 and um, negative 28 comes out to be able to add that together. Uh, 4 carry the 1 and 2, so the negative uh, 2 there. <coughs> And 1, 2, 6, uh, 72. So negative 72 equals 12y. All right, so I need to divide by 12 to both sides. And that gives me a y by itself here is equal to negative 72 divided by 12. Oh, and it comes out to be a negative 6. All right, so we have x is a positive 6, x is a negative 6. Um, or y is a negative 6, I should flip that. Either way, it doesn't matter. Our final answer is written like this, x first, 6. Y is a negative 6, and that is our coordinate point and our final answer. So let's recap. We're given negative 24 minus 8x equals 12y, and 1 plus 5 ninths y equals negative 7 uh, over 18 x. First thing I did is I'm going to like uh, fractions in a sense uh, for these types of problems. So I multiplied everything by, by the denominator by 18 to eliminate the fraction to have a better picture of this. From there, I rearranged and had um, basically had materials all lined up, had my number equal to the variables, and x first then the y. From there, I just said, okay, let's eliminate the y. I multiplied uh, y, the numerator by, or not remember, the top equation by 10, bottom equation by 12, up to the coefficients uh, that were in front, and made sure that one would be negative, one would be positive. Okay? And in doing so, that's what I got right here. Then I added two equations, and eliminated the y's, and I was left with negative 24 equals negative 4x. Divided by negative 4 to both sides, and x equals positive 6. Plug that back into my first equation and solved for y, and got y to be a negative 6. So I had the x value, the y value, that came to be combined to our final answer, which is 6, negative.